Hello, Hello， 大家好，欢迎来到 V N A T V。我是 Valentin， 我是艾文。Today we're going to talk about vibrato. Vibrato comes from the Italian word vibrare, which means to vibrate. It is a pulsating tone which wavers from slightly above to slightly below the actual musical pitch, and has rich and emotional quality. There are different types of vibrato, which are used by jaw or diaphragm. When we play the vibrato on the saxophone, we move our jaw up. And down, slightly. In the first example, I'm gonna show you how does mechanic of the vibrato on saxophone work. Vibrato is not a button that we switch on and off. It is a musical element that we use depends on what types of music and where we are in our phrase. It shouldn't be predictable or mechanical. The main purpose of the vibrato is to help to warm up our sound or create a tension. Now we are demonstrating some examples by using the vibrato in different styles of music. In each small pieces, we are going to vary our speed and the tension of our vibrato.
at the beginning I'm demonstrating the correct way of vibrating and the following example will be incorrect because our jaw movement is too harsh. The following exercise will be presenting you how to practice your vibrato by alternating between playing the note on your saxophone and only playing the air sound. We found this very useful video made by Japanese saxophone virtuoso Nubia Sugawa Sensei. He invented this exercise that it's super effective and we can incorporate it into our daily exercise. We will leave the link in the description. There are many things that you should be careful when you are practicing or playing vibrato. First of all, you have to be careful that your movement is up and down instead of forward and back. Second, please do not put a lot of pressure on your jaw because your sound will be too small and the vibrato wouldn't be consistent. Also, if you do too much pressure on your jaw, you, later on you will have problems with your jaw. It's very dangerous. The third point that you have to remember is that playing wide vibrato doesn't mean that you're playing more expressive. Playing expressive contains so many elements including connection between notes and also the direction of the phrase. In addition, adding the vibrato to the sound does not mean that it will be more beautiful. If you want to improve your sound, you should practice the basics like long tones, overtones exercises, etc. Our goal is to produce a balanced complex by incorporating all these elements, which helps to interpret the music. I would like to show you how do we search for ideal vibrato while practicing. The key is to stay on one note, try different speed of the vibrato. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it's helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube and also Instagram. Links will be down below in the description box. New videos are coming soon, so stay tuned. Ah! Bye. Love you. Thank you.